I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up. Why the cottage room blows, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I keep on running from. I like just woke up from the trip. Yeah, the story. So I'm like a little bit so Just got my shot, I'm feeling good. to keep up and I'm working on accounting because we have accounting class tomorrow. I just finished catching up with D&D, &D, if I can call it catching up. I went over strategy beyond market. After I'm done with accounting, I still have one more other class negotiations to review before class tomorrow. So I'm going to actually reserve a room at the GSB so that I can study there and see if that's a little bit better. But today I had to fly in and out of Orange County for the opening of Costa Mesa's office. Definitely not sad to have missed that, but this is the price I have to pay at 3 30 a.m. So I kind of wanted to reflect on the grand opening of Costa Mesa because I didn't really debrief with you guys. So I went to Costa Mesa and at the same time actually was able to knock out two birds with one stone. I got my vaccine. Actually, I don't really like that phrase because it just sounds so violent. So I was able to drink two bobas with one straw. So, so I got my vaccine and then I went to Costa Mesa and like the team has been so incredible so far. Like this is the first office that I 
like so i started all of it and we did the setup and you know the build out it, that's the part where i started becoming more hands-off and more remote so i had my team members kind of take over that which has been phenomenal because they're able to do it now and then i also met up with dr chun who's been incredible like I cannot wait to meet more doctors like Dr. Chun because for me, she's so exactly what I'm looking for when I'm looking for that flow partner doctor, like someone that's super humble, super hardworking, has that like go-getter and problem solving attitude. With her, I feel like I could, I could conquer anything. And you know, it's been so fun because you know, at the end of the day, she sends me like a list like a, a shot of like how many jobs we processed and I mean the fact that we're hitting the ground running with this practice I truly believe that Costa Mesa is going to be one of those case studies where it's never been done so yeah it's been phenomenal with that team and I think that ribbon cutting ceremony and you guys might have seen it on our Instagram I created this like short clip of me traveling to there and kind of letting the viewer know that it's been over a year in work in progress because of COVID and all the delays that came with it. We're on Instagram just in case you guys don't know. It's Flow for ODs and Costa Mesa is probably my third baby that I had. So I have Irvine, I have Found Valley, and then now Costa Mesa. But Costa Mesa, I think maybe because it is supposed to be our headquarters it has a lot more expectations and it's a bigger space so I didn't want to leave I seriously have FOMO with this one I am working a lot remotely in conjunction with classes and so I think that for me that's the part that makes me feel like I'm doing like a mediocre job at being a student which is fine because I think for me, it's not really the education that I'm looking for. It's more the networking and I, I've been super proactive about that. I just feel this kind of bittersweet, like I'm missing out, kind of a little bit of guilt, I want to say, because I'm not there to take care of fires because there is a team implemented and they are doing a great job. So I'm not trying to diminish that, but I think me not being in it does make me feel like I want to compensate by doing more as much as I can remotely. The grand opening was great. I know Cozy Mesa is going to do well. It already is exceeding its expectations. Like the number of patients and the sales has been astronomical. So I'm not worried about that. It's more like, you know, like behind the scenes, to be honest, like no matter what startup you, you have, there's always going to be something that you're basically scrambling to find a solution for right away and then the cool thing is now we can do very creative stuff because we have a very creative team i think that's it so i'll take you guys along for that journey and wish us not wish us luck but would love it if you guys joined us in our journey and celebrate with us when it does well Season of you, let's take a trip out to LA.